the Hong energy is what we're looking at with the scooping wheel pits. As he throws the first, as the intercept, uh, let's go a little bit slower so we can try to capture it. The interception point, I'm going to keep just the right amount of pressure to keep them continuing forward. Go ahead and start. Delete as it rolls out. The other punch comes in. Delete as it rolls out. Come here. Let's go on this side. One more time. Punch comes in. Close the nose. Okay, the other punch. Okay, again. Intercepts. Rolls out. Straight in. Oh, okay. One time. Now the, uh, the kinetic energy we're talking about here is as he comes in, when I intercept, I need just the right amount of force to roll. Keep an eye on this hand as it comes in and up. And this is what we're looking at here. So the right hand is going from here and up. Keeping this palm energy, this expansive, kind of like when uh, you get bumped on the head and it swells up. That's what we want. It's commonly translated as warding off, but that doesn't quite capture the quality of this expanding kind of energy. This will be intercept and up. So, generally that quality of kinetic energy in receiving and redirecting and applying. He's going to do a technique called filing, where he's going to cut across the sword, stab, or even cut here. The common counter is a technique called pull. Okay, let's go from well, actually, we're going to, for demonstration purposes, we're going to start cross blading. So this could be within, uh, once we cross blades and we're mixing it up. When we're in our arm guard position, tip the blades at the uh, level of the nose. We keep this hand up, we commonly see it here, or the uh, sword helper finger. In uh, combat purposes, we want to protect our carotid artery. It's better for the arm to get cut than a throat to get cut. So we're going to have this up here. This will be our on guard position. But, so we can get straight to the kind of qual quality energy that we're talking about. We're going to go from the intersecting position. From here, he's going to go to file. I use the holding technique. From here. One more time, slowly. Comes up. And in. Now the reason why I'm dropping my hand here is to assist the wrist in maintaining the structure. If, the, uh, if you have sufficient connection, where he has nine joints, nine pearls, that's a common concept, three to nine pearls. When we have a tool in hand, we have another two joints. Now we still have the wrist pivot, the wrist joint, so we're considering it 11 pearls. Where you have the wrist pivot, the middle blade pivot, and then the tip pivot. So adding a whole new dimension to the structural integrity of your posture. So if he was to have a heavy posture behind his blade as he files, then my blade might descend, I won't have sufficient structure. Potentially. So, when the way this technique is commonly applied is with a bit of assistance as it goes to file, to guide here. Okay? Now I'm going to do the sequence from the scooping wheel fist and up. The first quality is very similar, go ahead. So the pong energy. Okay. We want to maintain just the right amount of pressure because if I over neutralize, then he'll follow in and cut. So with this whole principle, we want to maintain contact and maintain his resistance. We want to provoke his resistance, just like we would, uh, just like we would in this position, where if he was going forward, if I collapse all the way, he didn't follow necessarily. To some degree, he followed, but not so much. Right? So I want to keep his ongoing pressure. So that way I can get him to overextend and redirect it out. It's the same idea that we're doing with the, uh, not the special sword, <laughs> with the whole principle. As it goes to file, if I do this, he can redirect it out because he knows it's over. It's over neutralized. What I want to do is just neutralize it just enough so that the barrel of the gun is not pointing towards me. The gun is only dangerous if it's pointed towards me. The same idea here. I want to neutralize it just enough so that it's away. Yeah. Uh -huh.